in the deepest, darkest reaches of the Underdark, the most evil beings in all of Tal'Dorei meet to once again decide the fates of the largest threat to their existence they have ever known. Well, that and try some of those lemon bars. Once again, I have called you all here to discuss a grave threat to our existence. Vox Machina is about to meet another of our brethren in battle, and we must do something before it is too late. Would you like a lemon bar, Angus? The customers really liked them. Oh yes, it was a smashing success. We sold nearly all of them. Well, the ones that Gareth didn't eat. <laughs> you had quite a few as well, Alfie. Just wish we had made more money for Evie. Wait, how much did you make? Four copper and an electrum piece. You sold almost every lemon bar and only made four copper? Well, we were only selling them for two. And, uh, after eating a few, I, I got quite thirsty, so I bought myself a drink. As did I. It was surprisingly hot out there. And who paid with an Electrum piece? Who even uses Electrum? Some awkward sorcerer. Kept saying he was from Draconia every other sentence. He was a strange one, that's for bleeding, sure. You mean to tell me the only positive result from our last meeting was we made four copper and an electrum piece for a widow? Well, when you say it like that, sounded more impressive when we said it. Enough! We have more pressing matters on which to focus. The members of Vox Machina are about to battle with another of our brethren. We must decide how to aid... Hold on for just a moment, Angus. I'm getting a call. Hello? Cecil? Fancy that! We were just talking about you. Wait. What are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm talking to Cecil. How? He's... Guarding a door in Iman, he's he's thousands of miles away. We're a bunch of talking doors that somehow walk away from our doorways to meet miles beneath the surface of Taldore, then have the culinary knowledge to cook lemon bars. And you have a problem with us calling each other. Good point. What's he saying? Oh, I'll, I'll put him on speaker. Hello? Cecil? I have you on speaker so everyone can hear. Have you encountered those vile creatures yet? Don't you worry your pretty little handle, Angie. I've got this. My name is Angelic Cornus, Lord of- Here we go again. Just give it up, Angus. Hey, hey, I know your name. I know you earned it by doing what you do better than anyone else. So let me earn my new name by stopping these guys in their tracks. What's your new name? The Impenetrable. Wow, that's the best name ever. I quite like it. Almost has a regal quality to it. I shall most definitely call you that from now on. Now, wait a minute. I've been trying to get you guys to use my proper name for... Hey, hey, they've arrived. Let me work my magic. Well, do tell us what's going on. I'm not quite sure. They just chucked a gnome at me, but missed horribly. It barely made it to the bottom of the stairs. Is, is this a new form of lockpicking I'm not aware of? No, that's just how they do things. Wait till the large one starts attacking the rest. That's always a laugh. Now the dark one is... He's looking at me very closely. Hey, Alaxa up here, pervert. How incredibly rude. Now the large one is staring at me. I I think he's trying to read. Now the other gnome comes up and, and whispers to him. And he still gets the wrong word. Are, are these really the ones that took out Frankie? I know, right? 
I think they just got lucky. They often pretend to be inept, only to surprise you later. Stay vigilant, brother. Now, the one with the forest motif is touching the dark one, and he's glowing? I'm not sure I should be watching this. Doing that in public? Have they no decency? No idea. Wait, he's inspecting one of my locks. Ah, and he's picked it. Ah! Stay strong. He's picked me. I can feel the lock losing its usefulness. Oh, it hurts. But I'm the impenetrable. He won't win. What's he doing now? He's just staring. Apparently he likes to watch. Creepy. Oh, oh no. He, he found one of my traps. And, and the forest looking one just started grunting. It's, is she getting off on this? Truly a most vulgar display. Now they're just arguing. Are, are they really that dangerous? They, they can't even agree what to do. I told you, they're just getting lucky. Watch, this'll be the end of them. And now the large one is, is groping the entire group to save the dark one, and, and he's pulling them all back. What the hell are they doing? It must be some ruse to make you let down your guard. Be strong. The, the dark one looks confused. He's, he's trying to pick the lock he already unlocked? What kind of role would... Oh, oh no, he, he just picked my second lock. Oh, the pain is almost unbearable. If I weren't the impenetrable, I might die. What now? What's he doing now? He's, he's going after my third lock. I can feel the picks digging into my frame. He's sliding the bar, ah, and I'm fully unlocked. I can see my life flashing before my eyes. Don't die, the impenetrable. I'm all out of lemon bars. They're arguing. They're telling him to do so many different things. The noise is almost unbearable. And, and, and now he's approaching me. He's he's putting his hands on me and he opens me. Oh, that's it. I'm going to meet my carver. Simply astounding. Another door that fell to their sinister plans. Tell my wife I uh, love her. I didn't know you were married. I'm not. But there's this gate. Always wanted to ask her to marry me. Send her my love. We shall do as you ask. What's her name? I don't actually know. We've never talked. Goodbye, cruel world. He's gone. Another has fallen to the demons, known as Vox Machina. Hang on a minute. We're doors. We're supposed to open and close. Can't we just, like, close him again and he'll come back to life? Shut up, Gareth. 